uh, SwiftUI Crash Course series and in today's video we will be discussing about toolbars in SwiftUI. So in previous video we discussed about navigation stack and how there are different ways through which we can navigate from one screen to another. So in this video we will be looking into how we can customize the navigation bar as well as add a toolbar and uh, add navigation through the toolbar. So as you can see on my screen, I have a navigation stack. So this was the fourth way which we discussed in the previous lecture. If you haven't seen it already, uh, I will provide a link in the description as well as on the eye icon on the top right. So you can first go to the navigation stack video and then come back to the lecture. For those of you who have already seen it, let's continue. Okay, so here we have a navigation stack and we have provided the path as well as we have a scroll view inside this we have a grid view and on on tab gesture of it we have pass.append and then we have a navigation destination this is uh, this is screen 2 this grid view uh, is actually pre-written you don't need to understand this as of now i have just used it for example we will be discussing this lazy v grid in upcoming lectures so this is our ui right now and you can scroll and there are like 100 items in this scroll view and once you tap on it you will be navigated to screen 2 okay so this is the code that is currently written so now we will see how, uh, what modifiers do we have present in navigation stack so first and most important is uh, adding a navigation title so for that we can have dot navigation title modifier and here we can provide the title let's say I'll say Instagram you see that uh, a title has added to the screen and once you scroll through it the title moves to the top so this is the uh, default navigation title behavior provided by navigation stack if you want it to always be in line like currently this is a large title if you always want to make it small you have one more modifier which is navigation bar title display mode and here you can set it in line okay. all right so now you can see that the title has moved back to small text talking about our next modifier we have dot toolbar and you might have seen in multiple uh, multiple apps that you have uh, icons in the left and right of the title so using this toolbar we can add it in the content we'll pass toolbar item And for placement, we see we have multiple options like automatic bottom bar, cancellation action. So there are multiple options available. We will be selecting top bar leading. And for content, we will use an image, system image. System name, uh, dot fill. So you can see we have a heart shape icon on the left of the uh, navigation bar so this is how easy it is to add a button to the navigation bar if you want to have multiple buttons you can just copy paste it and you will have another element yeah and if you want to add some button to the right we can change the placement to top bar trailing and let's just change this icon to plus and remove this icon so now we have a heart shape icon on the left and plus icon at the right. So this looks cool. We have uh, just using a few lines of code, we have already added our title, our left button as well as the right button on the navigation title bar. Now there is one more option. If you want to add, let's say, a menu to this title, we can add it to for that we have a modifier named toolbar menu toolbar title menu and in the content we can pass button uh, for action we will say path dot append uh, to and for the title we will just say um, screen 1 screen 2 sorry and just like this we will add one more button 
here we will append 3 and we will say screen 3 ok so now you can see uh, here in the title we have a drop down button here and if we click on it we have a menu open which says screen 2 and screen 3 so the text that we provided here we can see it here in the menu and once we click on it ok it is not navigating Uh, let us just try to run it in simulator. Sometimes the live preview doesn't work. So let's run it in simulator. Okay, so we have our simulator open and once we tap on it, you can see we are able to navigate. Once we tap on screen 3, hello 3, this is screen 2. So we saw how we can add a left bar button as well as a right bar button as well as a, a menu to the title. Now once we were adding the toolbar item, we saw there that we had multiple options. So let's try any other item. So there is one bottom bar. Let's see what this is. And let's reload our preview. So you see that once we added a bottom bar, we got a nice uh, button at the bottom of the screen. And let's see other options. When we set principal, okay, now it moved to the top. Okay. You can see that here we also have an option named keyboard. So if we do it keyboard, then let's just try to open a keyboard here. Let's add our text field on top of which our keyboard will open. So let's add our text field. For this, we will add a binding variable. Okay, so now we have a text field here. You can see, hey, we won't be customizing it. Now, now once our simulator is running, you can see that once we click on this, hey, text field, a toolbar item is added on the top of the keyboard. This is added because we wrote the placement as a keyboard. So it added our toolbar on top of the keyboard. Once we dismiss it, you can see it is hidden now. So this is very nice way and very easy way to add a toolbar to the keyboard. Previously in UIKit, it was pretty difficult and we had to do a lot of stuff to make it work. But in SwiftUI, they have made it pretty easy to uh, use toolbar. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, we saw multiple options like how to add a title menu, then how to add a toolbar, how to set the navigation bar to inline, how to add a navigation title. So we saw multiple ways through which we can customize the navigation. And I hope you understood it. If there is any doubt, please just let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do subscribe and like the video. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.